Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Creative Craft number two. I also be changing around with my video settings, so hopefully this video should be a lot better than the last one. I do apologize, but I'm still getting used to this whole uh, recording business. But anyway, he we're here in my creative world, as you can see. It's my um, <clears throat> smuggler's point entrance to the island, and um, a castle and my boat. But I have been working on something offline, so I'll just go and show you that. Let's just go back into um, first person mode. Douche, not first person. Well, I think it's called first person, not sure. Anyway, I've been working on this path just by here. Uh, just comes up past um, this, uh, the pond section by here and comes along here past their uh, past the wishing well and as you can see in the distance can you tell what it is yet so as you can see in the distance right here I have made a lighthouse So the path finishes right about here, and it breaks down into a gravel path. Uh, steps continue down here, and starts by here. So I got a little dock right by here, a little boat dock, and you go in, and you've got steps which go all the way to the top, to the glowstone um, light, which uh, you would... Um, find in lighthouses. I'm not sure if it's going to be glowstone now. It's probably one extremely powerful bulb. But if I take you out to the exterior and I shall tell you how I created this. There we go. The actual different layers are made out of wool. So there's um, this, uh, well, the base layer is made out of wood. Then I've got the light jungle wood here. And then I've got the wooden um, just the plain wooden logs, which um, hold up the pier in the water. But uh, this is made out of um, wool, so you've got the white wool, you've got the red wool, and so forth, until you get to the very top. Then we've got plain, um, the plain glass blocks, they're not glass panes, they're just glass blocks. Then on top we've got the black wool, and then the white wall, and then right in the center we've got a glowstone. There was a few mobs spawning up here, and uh, I really didn't want them to, so I put that in there. But uh, yeah, the shape is a circle, 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 circular. <clears throat> but uh, it's not an obvious circle because um, actually making a genuine circle in Minecraft is impossible. But I followed some basic guidelines. Um, you start off with. I'll just do the base. You do a row of five, then you cut in one, then you go up two, you cut in one, you go up one, you cut. Oh. Put that back. Yeah. So you do a row of five, cut in one, then two out, cut in one, one out, cut in one, one out, and then you go two down, and then you do another row of five. What I'll do, I'll actually leave a link to the schem schematics to making circles in Minecraft. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for that so you guys can just go and check that out. This rain is starting to my head in a lot. Yeah, so that's the, the basic layout for, um, for a lighthouse. Um, I have been asked in the comments to make, to make a prison and to put a... Um, one of the NPC guys into the prison, so um, I need to find a location for that. So I think prison would be quite good. <clears throat> Probably more in a derelict sort of area, you know, because that's where you would put like prison. Uh, maybe inside this hill, perhaps? Maybe in here. Uh, what else could it be? You wouldn't do one in the snow biome, would you? Uh, you could make one in the desert, I guess, but that would that would remind me of Zelda or Ocarina of Time when they got the Gerardo Desert and they've got the the their, um like the the thieves prison and stuff like that. That would be quite a cool idea. But I think the prison should be definitely in this area somewhere. This is where um. The normal people live, I guess, and this is where work is. I need a residential area where a town is going to be built. 
Maybe I could build the town in the snow biome just by here. Just to the right side of the church. And the prison could go around here, I guess, just around the back. Well, what's down there? This is very square. With a, a creeper on top. Um, that'll make the land look a bit more natural. Yeah, so I could start the prison and run about by here. Yeah, what I'll do, I'll build the prison on the side of this cliff. So it goes into the um so it goes into the cliff I guess. So if we just start making a basic layout. So here here we'll put a couple of cells in it. The prison is not gonna be huge. But uh let's say we'll make about six different cells in here for uh, prisoners. Uh the prison can go all the way to here. Looks like there's a cool um sort of cave system in here. So uh, I could possibly intertwine the prison with the cave system. Uh, maybe we can have some sort of escape section where pr uh, prisoners can escape from their cells. Maybe we could do that through the toilet system. Maybe um, what's in there? I was wondering what that was. It was down there. Yeah, maybe we could do some sort of escape system for the prisoners in their cells, like through the toilets, or maybe some sort of uh, maybe under the beds or something like this. Because this is going to be released as download, guys. So. Um, um, there's going to be lots of fun on here. Like I said in the first video, I'll probably release it as sort of like an adventure map. But at the same time, a download, so you can do what you want with it, really. Yeah, so the prison is going to be poking out of this hill. And probably do another double floor prison with uh, iron bar windows. Uh, about six cells, um, probably an office, and then some sort of storage room. And then each, well not all the cells, but probably about one or two, maybe one, is going to have an escape route built into the prison. And um, for the prisoners to escape. So there's some sort of um, adventure sort of side to it. Maybe, yeah, so the prison, they escape from the prison and they can get to uh, maybe the sea. Maybe they can come out at Smuggler's Point or something. Like, like a... Oh, wait, yeah, then. yeah, maybe that could be like a, a hidden sort of escape route from Smuggler's Point. Maybe the adventure could be you have to get to the island and help let the prisoners escape. That would be quite a good idea. Yeah, so the prison is going to go by here. It's a dark, gloomy place. Uh, like I said, I need a residential area for me, uh, like a like a town sort of design. So maybe I could build it on the banks of this frozen river. So there's going to be a bridge right down by here and say there's going to be about seven buildings here in this vicinity and say about another seven buildings here um a couple of shops as well and a um a pathway which goes through the town something awesome and uh yeah so uh thank you for the comment i'll have to mention who posted that in my next video when hopefully the prison will be finished but um Thank you guys for leaving the comments. <clears throat> this is video number two of my creative series, Creative Craft. Um, if you like the series so far, guys, please leave a like, a subscribe, but that's totally up to you. Comments are always more than welcome because this series is all about you guys participating and helping me create a very awesome seaside sort of town. Maybe we can go off into the desert. Right, I'll just show you my rail cart too because I haven't... Um, um, I missed this out in my first haul video because I wanted you guys to stick around and see what else I've been making. So let's just go into F5 mode and I can show you what I've been creating here. <clears throat> this rail cart system actually goes through the desert. I think I've got a little bit of lag because I'm loading new chunks at the moment, so ignore that. But yeah, this goes through the desert off to an NPC village. So we'll be arriving soon as the, as the sun rises from over here. And uh, some very silly person has left a rail cart on the track. I think that was me. <laughs> Should only have one rail cart on it, really. Yeah, so uh, we're off to our um, sort of desert NPC village. Which is just down over here. This actually goes over a mountain, too, this rail cart system. So that's quite awesome. So 
let's go back into first person mode. And then the station just pulls up here. So I need to do another design for the station, but that's quite cool. Um, I put some iron golems here. Um, there's, a desert, there's a jungle just over here, but yeah. I have some iron golems here. They've got a wheat farm. This is basically a default NPC village. But yeah, we'll probably end up developing this too because we got the NPCs here. Um, I think they're all inside. This is just my time at the moment. Let's just go and check. Yeah, they're inside the houses. Let's just open the door by here. So the iron golems are looking after these guys. Yep, here they go. They're coming out because the sun's just come. They come to check me out. Yeah, awesome. So, um, yeah, this is um, episode number two. Uh, we got our first project in the way, which is going to be our prison with um, a villager in. See, so here's a little mountain which the rail track goes over. And uh, hopefully next time I'll have that uh, prison finished for you guys to check out. I'll be um, giving a shout out to the guy who mentioned that. Uh, really grateful. Very good idea. Maybe I can take this card back. Let's go. Yeah, so uh, this is episode number two of Creative Crab. I uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. Like I said, if you want to subscribe, do so. Uh, likes and favorites are also welcome. Comments would be absolutely fantastic because you can help get this series going a bit more and uh, participate in and making some very epic stuff. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching episode number two of Creative Craft. And I shall be seeing you guys very, very soon with our new prison, which is just behind me. My, behind me, my, behind me on my left, which I just put there, um, up there too. And there's my new lighthouse. Woohoo! So thanks for watching Creative Craft. Uh, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know, the sh you know, the shindig. You know, all that type of stuff. So thank you, and I shall be seeing you guys very soon.